Good morning, YouTube. Hey, back making another brand new crypto TV episode. In today's video, we, are, we will be looking at XRP. We will be looking at Ethereum, Bitcoin, and the S&P 500, the usual bunch. Some interesting things I've started to notice over uh, yesterday, the course of yesterday. As you guys remember, in yesterday's video, I was talking about the S&P 500 as this week is pretty much going to make or break what exactly is going to happen within probably crypto as well as the stock market here. And I said that I made the video too early, so I couldn't really comment on the stock market because it was closed and by the time it was open that the video would be ending um, and that was true and now today we see the results that I can talk about here and this is kind of what I was expecting now honestly we could have gone a little bit higher yesterday uh, but the fact that we're correcting lower is by no surprise by me and the reason truly why I believe this is expected here is when I zoom out you can see on the weekly charts here we've been inside a massive and I mean a Goliath a behemoth descending fractal here and not only that but the problem is right here we have a lot happening here we have this major white resistance level which you can see is an ascending fractal uh, a very strong one at that and you can see within this ascending fractal not only that we have resistances and we have this green downtrend and we have the moving average acting as a resistance on the weekly problem is we're retesting that and we're getting dangerously close to seeing a uh, bearish cross and honestly if we reject off this and start to fall uh, fall to the downside here we are going to confirm a, uh, a bearish cross which is not going to be a good sign but truly truthfully moving forward i do strongly believe we are going to correct downwards it's obviously we could flip and this week we could very easily you know climb back up today tomorrow we could easily move back up to here but i don't think we're going much higher than that i think almost immediately after that we will be correcting lower and that's why this weekly candle is not starting off that well and we're starting to correct lower getting rejected off this weekly moving average and i think that's going to send us down truthfully i think that's going to correct us to the downside here and i think it's only a matter of time which is unfortunate and i do believe it might suck down these cryptocurrencies with it hopefully the lowest we move down to is here but there is a big chance we could hit here but if it does if we do hit something like that it would be considered a double bottom and that would be a good sign for a potential breakout moving forward but i do think there is a small window of opportunity to be buying in moving forward from here otherwise we will be looking at these cryptos i'm noticing another interesting pattern i want to talk to you guys about but with that being said make sure to smash the like button turn on post notifications subscribe and i'll see you uh right after this super quick guys i just wanted to shout myself out super quick i have a second channel we're at 902 subs 98 uh subs away from a thousand which is uh, the, one of the last uh, criteria I need to meet to get this second channel monetized, which is fun. New video is dropping this week, hopefully. I'm editing that. Uh, you know, probably by the time you're watching this, I'll be editing it. But you can see here, I dropped my last uh, video five days ago. Did is doing pretty well, actually. Um, and it's definitely worth a watch here. And then I dropped this short, which is doing really well, too. But definitely make sure to go watch this video if you haven't already. But moving forward into the technical analysis here, you guys can see top 10 cryptocurrencies markets are pretty much consolidating yet again as expected here you can see bitcoin is pretty much just trending sideways you can see ethereum is flatlined out bnb is flatlined out every single crypto for the most part is not doing much besides trading sideways which is anticipated expected i figured this uh you know it's it's just a matter of time something is brewing is what i'm trying to say here now i want to start with bitcoin and then we'll jump to some of these other cryptos but you can see here with bitcoin specifically i noticed that the way we're we're kind of hanging out here is a sign of something interesting coming here. And if I zoom into the four hour, you can kind of get uh, kind of the gist of what we're looking at. Now, I did originally have a four hour or an hourly uh, symmetrical triangle forming here. And you can see, I almost like want to extend this because we did find some sort of support. And if I extend this outwards here, and I move this downwards, you can kind of see this makes sense. You can see we are retesting top resistance. Now, this isn't exact. It really is not exact. So please do not um, consider this you know, fully accurate right now. I am just kind of playing around with this to kind of get some, excuse me, some sort of a pattern here that we can look at. But now it's starting to appear that maybe we're forming a much bigger symmetrical triangle uh, than we had originally anticipated. The unfortunate part is that we fell into this uh, symmetrical triangle. And this is a bearish sign. Typically, uh, when we have these symmetrical triangles, it's bearish here. You can see when we have a bullish break inside symmetrical or descending triangles, we have a usual bullish outcome here. But the fact that we fell into this symmetrical triangle, there's a good chance we're going to fall out of it as well, which is really not a good sign. But it does intertwine itself and overlay itself very well with the possibilities that the S&P is going to reject off this and fall lower. There's a very big chance that not only will Bitcoin 
break bearish out of this because it is a bearish bias that we see something like this happen here but it interlines very well with the S&P rejecting off this this week and pulling down lower as well so keep your eyes peeled on the markets for a possible short possibility now if we zoom to the four hour on XRP you can see we're having an interesting formation as well uh, we could also draw some sort of top here I'd like to think there's some sort of top. This is definitely a little harder to draw, but I would say it's something along the lines of this. I don't know. It's not accurate. Don't don't quote me on this. It's definitely not accurate. All I'm seeing truthfully, and I, I'm just going to delete this here, is that there is some sort of double bottom that clearly formed here. We have the one. We have a two. This is a neck. This is a beautiful double bottom formation. This is the neckline. So if we can break through neckline here we could actually result in a reversal, which would be ideal and would be amazing. And we could get back above major resistance. Now, obviously, we're doing good. This is actually the level that I've been telling you guys I would like us to get back above. If you remember yesterday, the previous days here, we did see this major manipulation and a major correction here. And over the past couple of days, we have pulled back down to this bottom support. But it, ideally, it does look like a double bottom has happened here. And now I strongly believe that we're back, uh, that we could be heading back up to fill in this gap here. That's what I'm looking to see happen here. I said the hope and the goal is that this is just manipulation and we should conservatively correct back to bottom support and here we are hanging out at the perfect level right at this price floor here the perfect level and here we are hanging out right at that so strongly i believe moving forward here we're probably going to see something like this happen here we probably are so it's hit or miss i know i might sound like i'm all over the place uh the s p looks like it's going to correct crypto looks like it's going to reverse i don't know it's you know there's a lot of speculation here maybe they'll acting inversely we don't know for sure but i do strongly believe the S&P looks like it's going to dump. Uh, could it reverse out of it? Of course, it very well could. And if we break through these major obstacles here and we can, you know, uh, conservatively break 4,080 points on the S&P, then honestly, there's a good chance we'll be buying in because we might be missing out on a run. But ideally, when you look at this on a weekly standpoint here and textbook wise, this is, you know, asking for trouble and asking for a dump. And that's truly what I think is going to happen moving forward. Every time we fell, we were trading at about 50 on the RSI here, 50 on the RSI, 50 on the RSI. Here we are again, 50 on the RSI. A lot riding on the fact we're probably going to see a correction here. These other cryptos, the fact is we kind of we're just it just looks odd. We could very, we could easily correct lower. Again, I haven't traded anything just yet. I don't plan on trading anything just yet because the markets are pretty much all over the place. It just does not make sense to want to buy into these and take that risk until we get some conservative, you know, movements here. Same thing with Ethereum here. It looks like there's some sort of four hour descending triangle here you can see like that you can see this right here if we pull this up there is some sort of descending triangle also forming here these are typically bearish could we break bullish of course but typically both bitcoin and ethereum look bearish xrp looks the opposite xrp looks more bullish than bearish here you can see we do have this double bottom you know let me know in the comments what you think but ethereum and bitcoin both look to have bearish possibilities here that this correction in symmetrical triangle forming will lead us to a dump very big chance. Bitcoin as well. Correction in. Symmetrical triangle. Bearish dump. S&P. Rejection off moving average. Bearish dump. So I am leaning more 70% bearish than I am bullish here. But um, we have to let this play out. But when you look at XRP, this looks to be more so like a uh, double bottom than anything else. So we just have to keep our eyes peeled on these markets. That's pretty much the only update that I have to let you guys know about. There's not much more happening right now, but I do believe when the S&P opens, we will probably correct lower. I'm going to leave it on the daily for right now because you guys get the gist here. And I do believe you are going to start to pull lower, but we'll see what happens. Um, but with that being said, guys, obviously remember to use BitYard, the number one cryptocurrency leveraging exchange I like to use here on the channel. You can buy long. You can buy you can sell short you can create stop losses you can leverage trade you can you know uh use a demo account right here and use monopoly money to test your skills so that pretty much means there's zero risk testing the skills out it's completely free that's the best part sign up with the link in the description go right here to derivatives click on cfds click any of these you'll be good to go it'll give you the same page you click xrp which not many exchanges offer then go over to live ex uh, extend down a demo you get a hundred grand in monopoly money to test your skills learn the markets zero risk super easy and the best part is when you're ready click mystery box right here after you sign up with that link and then you can get free crypto you can't beat that that's the best thing but otherwise keep your eyes peeled on these coins we have to see how these play out everything is leaning more towards a bearish correction than a bullish one but we'll see what happens let me know what you think down in the comments subscribe to my second channel and i'll see you in tomorrow's video peace <laughs>